Hey y'all, I'm Brian, the Rambling Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to install Proxmox. Proxmox is an open source hypervisor you can pretty much install on any PC that you have lying around that you're not using anymore and start creating your own virtual environment for your home lab. So, let's get rolling. Alright y'all, so here we are on the Proxmox.com website. This is where we're going to actually download the ISO to install Proxmox. Proxmox is a type 1 hypervisor, so that means it, it is installed directly onto a device. You do not need an operating system on your device. So you can actually install this on an old PC that you have, even a laptop or a full-fledged server. I'm just going to install this on an old HP um, computer that I have. I think it's an i7. But we're going to install it and we're going to start creating our own um, virtual home lab through on just running on this one PC that I have. So once you get to the Proxmox.com, you're actually going to go to Downloads and then where it says Proxmox Virtual Environment, and click right here and then we're going to go to ISO Image. So the current version that I have as of right now is um, Proxmox V7.4. So I'm just going to click Download. Oh, we'll speed this download up. I think it's about 30 minutes. So let's actually see how long this takes. Two very boring minutes later. Alright y'all, so that finally got downloaded. The next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to go and open up a new tab and we're just going to type in Rufus. If I can spell that. Alright, so it's just one F. I will actually put this link in the description below also. And you'll just scroll down here and click on the Rufus um, 4.1. This is if you're using a Windows computer, <coughs> just click on this. It is safe to download and all that. I use it all the time. So just a really quick thing. The next thing you are going to need is going to be a USB stick. So I have a 32 gig um, USB stick, but I'd say at least have an 8 gig USB stick just so you can put that ISO on there and install it. So you can install it onto that PC. So let's switch back over. And... So now that we got Rufus installed, we're actually just going to come down here and hit, type in Rufus. And we're going to make sure that our USB is plugged into the back of our computer or wherever. And we're going to click yes. And it should automatically select that USB um, stick that you have on your drive. So mine is a 32 gig um, SSD or 32 gig USB stick. Um, once you get there, you're going to select disk and ISO that we're going to use. And you're going to select hit select. And then I'm going to click the Proxmox 7.4 and click open. It tells you this, you click OK. You want to leave all of this as, as simple and leave it default. Then you are going to click start. And once you click start, it's actually going to tell you that all of the data on that disk or on that USB is going to be destroyed. That is OK. So make, but also do make sure that this is not a USB stick that has all some pictures on it that you don't want to get rid of. So I do know this is a safe one that I can do that to. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Click OK one more time and it is going to go ahead and start. This is a really quick process. Alright, so once it says ready, you are good to go. You can actually just close this out and pull it out of your PC. And then you would plug it into your computer. Show you um, basically all you need to do is plug in your USB device into one of the USB slots on your PC. And then you will go ahead and reboot your PC. So now I want to get to any PC. So you have to plug a keyboard into this one. You 
you'll have to look at what the model of your computer is, but sometimes you get to read off that disk, you might need to press like F1, F2 or F8, um, it really just depends. Sometimes they'll automatically just reboot off of an ice off of a USB. But I'm gonna go ahead and spin this PC up. So this one does take a long time. So let's switch over. Alright, y'all. So it is actually starting to boot, and my PC automatically just booted straight from into off the USB stick, so it automatically popped up. First thing we're gonna do is it's going to pop, come up to this Proxbox screen and you're just going to press enter on install Proxbox. Um, I fixed it. You will have to have a um, disconnected to the internet so that way if you want it now you don't have to really have it connected but it will be better that way you can actually use the web interface. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and plug it up to the network. All right, you're gonna to wanna to read through your EULA. We know we all read them, and then click I agree. I, agree. Um, I have a 120 gig SSD in this one that I'm actually going to use as my primary disk to install um, Proxbox on. So then we're gonna select next. We're gonna select our country, it is the United States. And then we're gonna click Select our time zone. I am in the American Chicago time zone. <coughs> now we're going to put a password in. We'll make a super secret, super secret password. Um, and then you'll actually you can put in your email address and this is going to send you any of your um, if you get any alerts or anything like that so let me put my email address in and select next oh my password didn't match another one Another one. All right, y'all. So the first thing we're gonna do is select our management interface. I have two of them. I'm gonna select ESP2 for mine. Then I'm going to select the IP address that I want for my management console on, because we can get to this from a web page. So I'm going to use 10.100.1. Two oh three. If I can type it out, then my gateway. I'm gonna put my gateway of my firewall. I'm gonna go ahead and leave DNS the same. I'm gonna click OK. You do actually have to give it a full and qualified domain name. So I'm just gonna leave it at PVE and put PVE dot local. Then you'll go ahead and click next and then click install. So we'll go ahead and let this get installed. I'll get back to y'all in a few minutes when it is done and ready to go. All right, so y'all that did get installed and we are now officially have Proxmox installed onto our computer. So um, this is the um, terminal of Proxmox. Um, so you have this access where you can actually work everything through command line using De um, Linux commands, such as De this is a Debian based system. And you will log in as root and then put in your super secret squirrel password. And there you are, you are actually logged into your Proxmox server. Now the one great thing is about Proxmox is if you look up there at the top, it does say that you can go to that website right there. 
So hopefully if I got this correct on my, on my network, it should work. So let me, all right y'all, so we're back here on my laptop and we're in Google Chrome and we're just going to type in 10101.202 port 8006. Once it goes and it loads, you're actually going to come to this saying your connection is not private. We do know this is to be expected as we do not have like an SSL installed on this at the time. You're just going to click advanced. It's going to say, are you sure you want to do this? Yes, we know it's safe. So we're going to hit proceed. Once you get in here, it's going to ask for your username. Your username is going to be root and your password is going to be that super secret squirrel password that you put in. And you are logged in. It will give you a prompt that this is not a valid subscription. Basically, Proxmox does have a paid version. They do have a free version. I have not found anything that I cannot do in the free version. So I don't even worry about this. We're just going to click OK. Now we are in our Proxmox server. We have a Type 1 hypervisor installed onto our PC. We can actually go install any server even or any VM that we want to on this thing and start learning about it. So let's just kind of dive a little bit into it. Up here is create VMs, create a container. Um, we've got the summary of it. So right now it's not really showing anything. I've just got my, this is my data center. I only have a standalone node. If we go to PVE and go to summary, it's gonna tell me how much CPU. I've got eight cores. I've got 16 gigs of RAM and I've got 38 gigs that I'm able to use on this one hard drive. I'll actually probably add another hard drive in here. But here is the basics of Proxmox. Um, in the next video, we will talk about how to install your first VM. So, and so um, that is the install of how you get started on doing Proxmox. Um, on the, our next video, I will actually install a VM. Um, a VM. I'm probably going to do a bunch to server or a bunch of desktop on our first ones. Then we'll do some Windows servers. We might even install a um, firewall. But if you like this type of content and you want to learn more and go with me and start building a Proxmox server or your first home lab, then like and subscribe. Um, I will put the Proxmox link in the description and the link to get Rufus. But absolutely. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.